The question is how to prevent a pest on our bonsai. So, first of all, uh, uh, I have to say that uh, the best way is to have always the tree nice and strong. Hello guys, uh, my name is Mauro Stenberger, I'm an Italian bonsai professional. I want to wish uh, Bonsai Empire happy birthday. And uh, today I'm here to uh, reply to one of the questions. So is, uh, the question is how to prevent a pest on our bonsai. So first of all, uh, uh, I have to say that uh, the best way is to have always the tree nice and strong. So we don't have uh, to overstress uh, the trees uh, with uh, crazy working uh, or uh, bad watering. Uh, we need to have always the tree ready to push uh, in full energy and don't stress them too much. Because otherwise, uh, if the tree gets sick uh, and slow down uh, the physiological way how they grow, they tend to be attacked uh, by pests. There are different kinds of pests that can attack our trees. Uh, for example, juniper can have a scolitidae, that for, uh, in English is uh, bark beetles. So if the tree uh, is uh, weak, the scolitidae, can, uh, the bark beetle, can go inside of the live line and dig holes and uh, uh, kill uh, the live line of uh, the tree. Uh, when uh, most of the time, unfortunately, when uh, we see the problem, it's too late. For example, when I collect the trees in the mountain, uh, this is a problem that sometimes also mugo pines uh, have. So I always uh, treat the trees uh, before. Uh, so as soon as they arrive home and I plant uh, the new collected trees, uh, I treat them. I generally use uh, a systemic insecticide that for me uh, is uh, Reldan, is the name you can find uh, online. And uh, the active principle go inside of the tree and protect the tree from the attack of these uh, bugs. The problem is uh, when the tree is weak, uh, the tree releases uh, phenormone, and this phenormone in particular, they attract uh, these bugs uh, and they start digging all uh, to nest uh, on the tree. This is very bad for either junipers and pines because uh, they can kill the live line, and after that, uh, also fungi can you know, finish the work and kill the tree. So, rather than using a systemic insecticide is always very good. And I also use a systemic uh, at the start of the season, so in spring, when all the trees start pushing, just uh, as a preventive, uh, I treat all my tree uh, probably generally uh, twice, so I do one week and then I wait uh, one week or 10 days uh, and I treat again. It's always better to treat when it's not raining, so the tree can really absorb uh, the uh, active principle and uh, help to be protected. But again, I wanna really push on that. As much the tree is strong, less treatment uh, we have to do on the trees, because also, Treating too much the trees uh, is also bad for the tree because uh, a lot uh, of chemical don't help the tree to be stronger and also by itself react against uh, the pest. For example, another problem that a lot of people have uh, is uh, about uh, the uh, red spider, spider mite, especially in areas where it's very dry, summer is very dry. So to prevent that and to help that, we can use uh, 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 is, is, a, is a type of insecticide that, that is for contact, is not systemic, because it helps to kind of uh, uh, um, create a pellicula on top of the bugs and uh, uh, they died because they don't have oxygen. So uh, in, in US uh, we use a lot of neem oil. Here in, in Italy, for example, I have uh, uh, is a, a caricid is called mediator. So for uh, uh, 
for this uh, uh, spider mite, we need to use uh, any kind of acaricin because it's uh, the type of bug uh, we have to kill. Uh, other problems, uh, we can have uh, a little bit of uh, uh, the white uh, dust powder on the trees. Generally, this happens on the cedus, but also is another type of acari. So uh, we, can, uh, we can prevent that by spraying uh, the tree and prevent uh, the tree to get affected uh, by these, uh, these bugs. But again, uh, it's very important to have the tree strong and also if you bring inside of, a, of your collection your uh, new trees, it's always better to treat everything in case uh, something came in. This is very, very, very important. So I hope uh, uh, I helped uh, with this question. I just want to say that uh, I don't like to over-treat my tree. Generally, along the year, I treat a couple of times preventive in spring. I do another treatment generally in the middle of summer because it's another period when the tree can a little bit stressed by the excess of heat. So it can get into a stress mood and get attacked by these bugs. And also, for example, now we are uh, almost in winter. So when I start putting some of my deciduous trees in the greenhouse, I also, again, treat systemic everything, just in case some bugs uh, uh, nest or lead uh, eggs uh, on the bark of the trees, so I can again clean everything. In Japan, they use a lot of lime sulfur mixed with water and they spray on the tree. Also, that uh, is good as a prevention and also cleaning the tree away from uh, unnecessary uh, insects. Thank you so much, and again, happy birthday to Bonsai Empire. Ciao.